Hello, welcome. This is a video about this. It's a very clear piece of footage. Lovely shot. And unlike most of these teleportation, time travel, weird videos, it happens in plain sight and the perpetrator comes back into shot to walk away. It's nice and obviously this raises a lot of brows. It has been largely debunked, or at least in theory debunked, and here comes the explanation. We found out it's actually part of a series of fake videos created as marketing for China's video game company Perfect World for the upcoming release of Jiuxian 2 Doom and Dawn. Here's a clip of her being like Magneto, moving trolleys in a supermarket. And here's her teleporting again. The game they're trying to promote though, look nowhere as cool as her using super Except that's not game footage, that's live action on a darkened stage. Superpowers in daily life. And this is her superhero identity. Talk about disappointing, she looked way cooler in the hoodie. Now she looks 16. While she's not as hot as the video game version, the real thing goes around helping disaster areas in real life as part of the marketing efforts. She's called the Dragon Totem Girl. The problem with that explanation is that it's a conspiracy theorist's wet dream. This is the micro website by wanmei.com, which is the Chinese version of Perfect World. On this micro website, you have all the videos that Dragon Totem Girl has become famous for, famous ish. Do work, I can assure you of that. Um, you have the three big videos of Dragon Totem Girl in action and a whole bunch of clowning shots, some promotional work, some photographs in here. The story being that Dragon Totem Girl sort of evolved from having superpowers to encouraging people to use their everyday powers uh, to do some good in the world. And they do some promotional shots of her doing all kinds of feeding the homeless and things like this. There's one here, this is a video of her handing out some flyers. There's a guy sort of collapsed on the side of the path here turns into her helping him but yes there's a there's, all, there's almost a line isn't there there's a you've got this teenage girl in the superhero costume with the little golden horns on it and the golden paraphernalia and you've got the girl in the hoodie who goes around saving people's lives in a rather dramatic fashion and there's two it's two distinct things now what the conspiracy theorists are saying about this is that perfect world are involved in the cover-up and this is idea of the marketing is created after the fact and this website does nothing to disprove that in all honesty so it's time to check things out so Zhuzhan 2 according to the debunking sites is a game by Perfect World and the girl in the videos is Dragon Totem Girl Zhuzhan 2 the direct translation of that of the Chinese is Totem Beijing Girls so Zhuzhan 2 would be Totem Beijing Girls 2 and there is no such game. Dragon Totem Girl 2 is not a game either, sometimes cited on these debunking websites. If you look for a game called Zhuzhan 2, some of the gaming websites will direct you to Jade Dynasty, of which there is no Jade Dynasty 2, and Perfect World um, do, do not have Jade Dynasty. It was ported from Perfect World to Ark Games. Uh, where you'll find the explanation that Jade Dynasty 2 was more like a patch. It was more like a massive patch than another game. And it's actually, if you're looking for Jade Dynasty 2, you'll play Jade Dynasty 1. If we follow the Chinese side of this story, come to CNRPG. Information about Jade Dynasty. Jade Dynasty as Zhuzhan 2 official site, link to. Go to the official site. It's all in Chinese. The artwork looks about right, but I can't see the girl. Get it translated with Google Translator. 
There's no references to any of the games so far mentioned. Um, but using this, we can go to the Game Download Center. So we've actually got something to go to. Game Download Center, all in Chinese, translated. Uh, Zhujiang 3.1 from Haiyang Dream, the official service client. Open, download, install, update. So we've changed now. But also on this website is a historical version. Historical version link. Historical version obviously takes us to a Chinese, but 2012 version has the girl in question. Dragon Totem Girl herself. And 2012 was the year in which all these videos of her started appearing, so this ties in very well. Although, we'll say, it isn't actually proof that she wasn't put into the game after the videos appeared. Using the Wayback Machine for Wan Mei's microsite, we find the very first capture of that micro website was in 2012, September the 10th, 2012. <laughs> this is what's going to get the conspiracy theorists buzzing because when it first appeared it did not feature the dramatic footage of her of the hoodie girl saving people's lives though five days later 15th of September 2012 we go to Wan Mei's micro website and the footage is here the supermarket running through the streets and here so presumably it was created, or if they created it, it was created before then. But what we're looking at is pretty much the date on the on the CCTV footage. Uh, 15th of September 2012. So if we can find footage of this that predates the appearance of it on this website, uh, we've opened a can of worms. This is the oldest upload that I can find. the advert published on the 18th of September 2012 so it's only three days three days after the Wan May website featured this video it was uploaded here by the observer just zoom in on that it probably take like half a day to put this to music and edit it nicely so this is definitely after the fact so it's all down to where the observer got this footage from really either Ark Games is Jade Dynasty which I played briefly but not enough to find out if there's a dragon totem girl in it um, or Wan Mei's Zhu Jian 3.1 as it is now which featured the girl in 2012 um, but on balance, I'm going to give an opinion. I can't disprove it. I can't debunk this because I don't have enough information. It's still viable as a source of interest. Uh, but the context would be the girl in the supermarket is making no effort to hide. That's clearly staged. The teleportation along along the street, at, again, it's right in front of people. There's no uh, intention to hide. So those two, I don't count those two anyway, I haven't really counted them all along. Uh, it's the one saving of the man on the bike's life is the only one that stands out as possibly real. Context is very important to me. It helps you to really define what something's about. So the context for this is that someone is saving people's lives and they appear to have superpowers. Now the problem with that, with that context is, well, a, she's wearing the right sort of clothes for that year, and there's there isn't a folklore. You know, the girl in the black hoodie it hasn't been seen before or since. She popped up in videos 2012, and then disappeared again. The other context would be, you know, who is this guy? Is he going around making David Icke style speeches in China about the world isn't the place you think it is? An angel saved my life. Um, I shouldn't think so, I don't know for sure, but I shouldn't think he is. And the other context would be if there are angel teleporters saving people's lives like this, how come you know they choose a guy 
just cycling along an unknown road in China when they could have saved Martin Luther King or Gandhi or Kennedy. What's the crack? <laughs> Are they just too busy? Do they lack? Do they lack contact themselves? They just do it whenever they feel like it. So the context factors would indicate that this is as perfect world acclaim a marketing ploy. And so my opinion would remain with that. But in terms of factual evidence, this is not debunked, and I can't claim debunk on it. But I will uh, I'll debunk the debunkers a little bit because they should have done more research. They're just repeating what they've been told and I can't find a single video that is credible about debunking this. So good luck if you're going to contact the observer and find out where he, she got that footage from. <laughs>